Hi, I'm Marianne O'Hearn from Gear. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this um, this shell dish and um, do this swirl marbly technique. And it looks like glass when it's done. It's very, very pretty. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now for this particular piece, I used five colors. I used all these blues. You can use any colors. You can use more or less colors if you want. This is what I used to get this look. I've already pre-mixed some of my colors. I'm gonna mix the next color, the last color, but you're gonna mix these. These are just pre-mixed. Now I'm gonna take this last color that I have to mix to show you what I'm doing and how I'm, the ratio is about a quarter of a cup. This is a seven ounce plastic cup, but you can use anything. But And if you use about a quarter of a cup like this, you want to take some water, use the cap that from the, from the bottle is the easiest way to go. And it's about maybe one and a half capfuls. It doesn't have to be exact in order to mix this up and get the right ratio. Now you want it to be that, like the consistency of milk, like milk is good. Just Stir it up very well. It should look something like this. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now I got all five of my colors mixed here. Um, you can use a like paper plate or something or aluminum foil, whatever you need to pour into, because I am gonna pour all my colors into here, and I'm gonna start with like the lighter one. It doesn't really matter how you do this, but I'm gonna start with the lighter, and I'm just gonna pour them in. It seems like a lot, I know. It depends on the piece you're doing. I'm doing a bigger piece, I'm doing a lot of color. Now, once you get them in there and it looks like this, you don't want to stir it up, like just stir it because it's gonna get all muddy. So you just wanna put a couple of swirls in there to stir it. So when it gets like that on the top, that's it. You wanna just go very slow and just put a couple of swirls in it. You don't want to mix it. Now, I'm going to use this to pour, and when I pour it on my piece, I'm going to use this big plate here. This is the bigger shell, but it's easier to show you how it's going to look, uh, to show you how to do it on this versus the smaller one. But um, when I pour this in here, it's I got to have a drip pan. This is more or less my drip pan. Now, I'm just going to show you a way to get a little bit more out of this. Instead of using that, I'm going to use a bisque plate as my drip pan. So now when I pour it into here, I'm going to show you how to use that after to have another piece. So I'm going to pour this in. I don't have to pour all of it. I'm going to swirl it around. Now, because this has little scallop edges, um, I'm going to pour a little back in here because, because this has some scalloped edges, I'm going to pour it out because I don't want too much in there. But I've got to cover these edges, so I'm going to actually put a little more on the edge here just to make sure I get those scallop part that is hard to get because of the way it's made. A different type of bowl would probably be a little bit easier to do. So I want to get most of the excess out, poured out of it. When I get it to the point where I think it's, looks really nice. I'd like to stop because you want that look because whatever look you see is how it's going to fire. Okay, so this is a pretty good look. I'm just going to go a little bit more. Now, you know, you can do the, you can put a little more dark in there if you'd like. Um, this is going to be nice though, I can tell by looking at it. So that's what I'm going to get. How I fire it is, how you see it now is how it's going to fire. Now, I'm going to put this aside because um, that's going to dry a little bit. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to set up. Now, because I, ha I poured it into a bisque plate, I'm going to try rolling this around just to the edge so I can maybe get another plate out of it. Okay, now I'm going to pour it out. Now I could move this around even more, but I kind of like the way it is going all this way. And so I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna leave that like that. Okay, I'm gonna pour a little bit more off because I'm gonna fix my edges later. 
So now I've got two pieces because I didn't waste, I poured it into this instead of pouring it into a bowl. Now if you do have extra, you can take, now I have all this extra in here, what do I do with it? Um, because I have a lot of it, I'm gonna try not to waste it. I poured a little bit too much. Um, so I'm gonna use these which are our coasters which actually go this way, but I'm gonna use the bottom side of the coaster because I kinda like the way that looks. And it kind of, when you put put a piece on there, when you put a glass on there, and if you spill any, and the coaster's this way, you have that little lip to hold it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pour it back out. Now you can see it's starting to get a little, starting to get a little bit mudded up, so you can't, you know, it's not as much. If you have any more darker color or something, or any more colors in your cups, you can pour it in. So I'm gonna do this. As you can see, this is so, my coasters are gonna be like little glass-like coasters with the, that swirl in it. Okay, so you can see you do it, it's, it's a little different because I don't have, it, the, it kind of swirled up. You can see the difference in this, this, and then by the time it gets to this. It'll move for about, uh, maybe about three, two or three minutes, and then it will start to set up and you won't be able to move it anymore. So while it's still wet is when you wanna move it. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So that's about it. Um, and once this sets at about 10 or 15 minutes, then we'll clean up the rest of it. Okay, this is uh, pretty much dry. Uh, you can see that it's still a little wet down inside where it's a little heavier, um, but it's mostly dry. Be careful when it is still wet and if you touch it to see if it's dry and you touch the spot that in it, and it is still wet, you can make a mess and ruin your design. So you wanna just let it dry. You'll see where it's wet because it's, it's kind of shinier in those spots till it's dry. But it's dry enough now to um, clean up the edges. You can see this is what happens when you do this technique. It makes a mess on the outside. So you can, um, so you're gonna, you're gonna, actually I'm gonna flip it over first and I'm gonna do this side. So I'm gonna get all this off I try to swipe. It does. It can stay in the crevices a little, but you want to get most of it off the, the heavy stuff. I want it to look white. I want it to be white, so I want to try to get as much off as I can. And I don't. I'm just going to dip it. I don't want to have to paint it. With. So that's why I'm doing it this way. It's a quick project if all you have to do is swirl it, put a little color on it, and then leave the rest because you know you're clear glazing it. Always use the sponge and still wring it out good because you don't want to soak the bisque. You just want to get all the stuff off. I'm going to get this off for now also. Now I'm going to start over this end. Make sure you squeeze it off because you don't want the water running down. And now I'm going to hold it and I'm going to really wipe the rim of this. The whole rim of the plate. If it gets too wet when you're doing this, you will get runs of water down there. And you don't want to do that, so try to wring it out good. A sponge. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, I've got a little bit of one of the colors. Any, you can use any one of the colors that you used in here as an accent. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm using the uh, Jumpin' Juniper. And I'm almost thinning it down a little because I just want to get it in these crevices because I want to get it so that when I wipe it, it just stays in the crevices so it's gonna look like this when it's finished you can see all around so it's basically white but it, everything has a little bit of color inside and by doing this you have to put it in you gotta let it dry a little bit because when it's dry you won't be because if you wipe it when it's really wet um, what's gonna happen is you're gonna pull out the um, you'll pull off even in the crevices if it's too wet. So if it's a little drier, it kind of stays in the 
crevices even when you wipe it down with a sponge. So just make sure you get it all in the cracks. Now I'm also going to turn it over or at least turn the sides and I'm going to put some in the sides here also. I don't do the whole plate just where those crevices are, the creases. It should only take a couple of minutes to dry. Okay, now this is uh, dry enough to wipe it. It's still a little damp, but now I'm gonna wipe all the exit, all the you know, all all the excess off, like all the stuff I just put on, except leaving it in the crevices. And this color is gonna match one of the colors in there, so you just pick a color that matches which was whatever you did. I'll leave that much in. Now, when I do this, the edge, I kind of go either down or up because I want to try to leave it in some of the crevices without really I don't want to take it out of the crevices, but I also don't want blue. I still want the don't want a lot of the blue to show on the white, the pots that are supposed to be white. So I'm going to try to clean it up pretty good. Depends how much you want. Some areas I'm going to put off more than others. Just gonna clean up the bottom a little. And that's it, I'm gonna go around this edge again, make sure it's nice and clean. You should get a nice even mark if you use it. Make sure you use the rounded part of the sponge, not this part, because you wanna get a nice edge to it. Nice clean edge. And I kind of wiped it down in here, too. But you can leave that blur if you want. That's it. Dip it and fire it. Um, we also have, these are all cleaned off already. But these are some of the pieces we also did. If you remember, we ran this off, like just, I think we ran it off this way. So all the lines are gonna kind of keep going down. So if you drip water on it, like I just did, don't touch it. Just let the water dry in. If you try to sponge it off and absorb the water up, you're gonna mess up your design. So just let it dry. And um, so that should be good to go. All of these will get dipped in clay glaze tonight and fired and we'll see how they look, how they come out. Here's the plate, the finished plate. Um, still looks like glass. Uh, this is the one we did, and we also have, as you can see, some other colors that, a couple of other colors of purple, some browns, but these are a lot of dishes we did with it, so um, you can see how they're all got their own unique design on it. You'll never have two that are alike, so um, it's a great technique.